Now, the rape and murder case of the trainee doctor at Kolkata's R.G. Kar Hospital continues to shock the nation. In the unending twists and turns in the investigation, justice is the one thing that remains elusive in the rape and murder case of the young doctor, with more evidence of efforts to hush up the case coming up. On Wednesday, even as the city of Kolkata expressed its collective grief and frustration at the pace of the investigation, family members of the doctor said the local police tried to hush up the case by offering them money. The parents reiterated they were not allowed to see the body and had to wait at the police station while the body was taken for a post-mortem examination. <laughs> बोलते ढूंढे बड़े भेतोरे इन्हें हम के ताका दवा चेस्ट करें तो हम ताज का जवाब दवा आपका सबसे सबसे की जवाब का दीजिए Meanwhile, the investigative authorities say they are unearthing more evidence of wrongdoing by the former principal of the hospital, Sandeep Ghosh. While much of this allegedly relates to financial misconduct at the establishment, the probe agency says a day after the crime, Ghosh ordered repairs and renovation of all the on-duty doctors' rooms in all departments of the institution. For weeks now, the state of West Bengal has been at the epicenter of raging public protests. People across the country, especially doctors, have been demanding justice and safe work environment. Now, on Wednesday night, thousands turned off the lights uh, around them and gathered outside the Arjikar Hospital in Kolkata to hold a candlelight vigil. Demonstrators called for a swift investigation and the arrest of those responsible for the crime. And for more on this, our correspondent uh, Somit Sen Gupta has sent us this report from Kolkata. Tragedy and controversy continue to unfold in the aftermath of rape and murder of a 31-year-old lady doctor at Arjikar Medical College and Hospital. The victim's father has raised serious allegations, claiming that the family was pressured into cremating their daughter by the police. He also alleged that the one deputy commissioner offered money to the family. Meanwhile, the Central Bureau of Investigation has uncovered a crucial document that intensifies the investigation. The document signed by the former principal, uh, Dr. Sandeep Ghosh, reveals that he instructed the Public Works Department to carry out renovation work in areas adjacent to the crime scene. Just one day after the victim's body was found on 9th August, this raises further questions about the possible interference in the investigation. This is Swamit Sen Gupta for Vion from Kolkata. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.